Okay, today we are at MST uh, Golf at the Gardens. Uh, we'll be going through my class. Hello. I've got a class here, yeah? Right, thank you. Hey, David. Hey, Chris. You just met my coach. What's that? I'm recording my vlog. Oh, you recording? Yeah, this is the one I mentioned. Oh. Everyone meet David. He's my coach. Right? So, he's hitting a lot of shots. To do this. We want to start to work on sequencing. Okay. Um, getting a little bit more separation of the segments. That's why I've been getting you to throw the ball. And throw because naturally you develop that, right? Okay, yep. Um, but a lot of stuff we've done is already started to encourage that, like how we start the swing, how we initiate with the trigger. Right? Um, so, what I want you to do is, so first thing I want to do, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can just face me, so we'll go a little bit back there. Eh? Okay. So, maybe actually I'll stand this yeah. side. So, you come back. Okay. And just, you can face, face me there. Okay. Can we, can we go a little this way just so we've got space so we don't hit each other because we're going to be swinging this kind of back So, what I want you to do is, I want to see can you move the handle without the club here moving? There we go. So now I want to see can you move the hand so or which the you know, cover goes in the other direction. So then you'll have a ring That's it, good. Okay. Well, let's see if you can kind of as you're moving, you can just let your your, your core here, your center cool. move with that. Yeah, let's see if you can kind of move it back and forth. And let's see if you can get that to load, that right wrist. So don't let the club drop too much that way. Um, yeah, there we go. But when 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 it loads, it must be coming from the change of direction. Okay. And then change direction. Okay. And then that starts to load. Right, but not too exaggerated with the hips out that way. Okay. Uh, but we want to feel that the wrists are reacting to this. The movement in the body and the, the movement in the feet, the pressure. So watch when I do. Okay. Okay. So... Too fast. A little bit slow, a little bit slow, a little bit more control. That's it, yeah. The important thing is you're starting to feel the right wrist as well. That's it, Kind of hold it uh, where the grip meets the shaft. Okay. Alright, and then let's do it again. That's it, oh. good. That's it. What you can do when you change direction is let the elbow lead a little bit. Like this? So, Handle don't jam it into your body too much. You're letting the elbow move, but we maintain some sort of width. Okay. That's okay. it. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Quite, <laughs> quite sore. Huh? So um, there are different players who do sin a bit earlier, uh, but for the most part, if we're doing it the, you know, the ideal proper sequence, as soon as we take the club back, there will be a little bit of a delay in the wrist. Now you do actually tend to do that a little. Bit. Yeah, because you asked me to whip the cup back. Yeah, exactly. You're using, you're using the ground to get the cup moving. Yep. You like that a lot. Um, and there will be just that fraction of the delay. But we want to start to actually be able to sense, can we also feel that in the other side? Exactly. So we'll do a short swing, eh? Yeah. Good, nice. Just get a little bit wider. <laughs> <laughs> like you can soften this unit here a whole lot more. So basically the wrist. Yeah, so this, this right arm as well, like you don't want too much tension there because you want that reacting to it. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. I said, not worrying about the cycle. <coughs> Getting the feel of the club. Yes, let's have a look at that. That makes it look really good. The jelly. Oh, okay, I feel that. Yeah, and you can see coming into that spot there we, we talked about earlier. Which is much more... Yeah, you have more angle, right? So 
To let the club shift. Ah. Does this happen with driver as well? Okay. Yeah, I can see the club like yeah. focus on kind of the handle on how the head reacts to the handle mm -hmm. so when you change direction the body uh, obviously initiating that but you want to bring the handle kind of just to that here right yeah exactly good so you can bring and then that's that spot where we just we obviously push off the ground to release the club yeah exactly good arm a little bit yeah there we go good so this is where the handle is now if you bend forward I've been down, that's it, good. There's my delivery position, and then obviously we can release the club. Pros in that position, the hands on the thigh, then that's that point where we release the club. Okay. Yes, there we okay. go. Good. Got good contact. <laughs> Give yourself time to load that club as well. Look how nice that is. Look at that coming into the ball as well. Like, look how... Am I into out? Yeah, you're into out. I'm into out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks damn nice. Yeah, that looks... Yeah, it's good. Hold on, hold on. Do you guys to see this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is different. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, the takeaway looks damn funny. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And the handle bring forward, forward to that right thumb. And then obviously we're releasing things of that little uh, shaft is leaning forward nicely. Mm-hmm. And to the deep forms. Yep, it looks good for sure. Yeah. Oh I, I managed to finish as well. Yeah. And that's why I like, you know, um, you know, having a club that lags behind. So important because it gives us a lot more width, especially if we're getting it in the right direction. Kind of that way. Okay. Mass of the club it is behind, it gives way more potential like a whip. For, for speed. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah. Felt different. Uh, yeah, nice. okay. I think I lagged the club too much behind it. I, the reason why I felt like, like I'm leaning back is because I feel like my club is not going to reach the ball. Uh, <laughs> so that's why I felt. The thing is, you're, you're kind of, yeah, like you've got a bit more of an extension of the right for us, so yeah. the, kind of the arc is lifted a bit. So yeah. your body will start reacting and reorganizing itself. Woo! There we go. Yeah. But the setup to make Express it easier. Okay. <laughs> Show me your technique. So what's the right there? Okay. I want you to start with your arm in front. Okay. Right? As you step in, then you're moving your arm back. Start from front? And then step in. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So the front? Yeah. What you do is I want you to try and get this arm also far. Far. Far back and high as well. So you so, high end. So watch out when you go back here mm -hmm. and then step with the leg. See this stretch through the body from your right hand to your left toe. Okay. Feel that stretch stretch through the ribs. Okay. Now Throw down or up? No, 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 that's what we are. Well, we're still throwing like this, right? So what okay. I'm after is that we're creating a nice kind of separation. Okay. So from yeah. front? Yeah. Yes. There we go. Ooh. Does that feel different? Yep. Felt a bit Oh, yeah. Walk in, walk in. Walk in, walk in, okay. So, so what you can do is as you run in, you can close your body off to the target. Yeah. 
Oh, that felt good. I, I didn't expect to hit that hard, but... Yeah. But also, that's the thing, is after throwing, it kind of activates the nervous system a little bit. Um, look at that power, five degrees into out. I just didn't close my face that much. Yeah. Oh, that, that felt good. You know, we want the release to be a little bit later, and that we get through good sequencing. And that you also get by practicing the throwing movement, so you're training the body how Keep. to actually sequence and separate. Throwing. And and also, um, if you are trying to hold on to the release, you might not be releasing the clubs. That's also where those bad shots come because you're not actually releasing, releasing the, club the club to the ball. In the timing of the release, obviously, we 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 doing that um, that drill. Earlier, and we let it let that come into the swing over time. Okay. When we're hitting the shot, we need to let go, we need to let release. We can't try to control every spot of the Correct. swing. We also can't try to hold on because we're scared that we're going to release it. Right? Yeah. Because that also doesn't work. Because right? I was just trying to hold on the leg. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Woo, that felt okay. Look at that. That's what I mean, it's like you, the whole time you were holding on because you wanted that perfect movement. Correct. And it just doesn't work like that way. As I said, it's just little increments over time. Slowly. You start to invite the body to change its uh, pattern. <laughs> so that's what I mean, have a look at that. Let's watch the setting, watch your body, look at your body, watch that carefully. Yeah. See the pelvis and the, the body is shifting. Look at the club. The club head is still moving back. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna get some numbers on this. So as you practice that's gonna get better and better and better. Yeah, probably you didn't hold it as long, but it's definitely different. You're definitely not releasing it as early. You might have released it a bit early there. Yeah. But you're starting to create something up at the top there where you change your direction. But the body movement is, was very dynamic there. Look at that on the way through. Really nice. Could I have my weight forward? It doesn't look like I'm having my weight forward. Yeah, you do. Okay. 90%. Oh, because yeah. it feels like having my, my weight is bad. <laughs> yeah, I remember the, the, the sternum, this part is always going to be behind yep. the hips at impact slightly. Obviously, we don't want too much. Uh, but obviously, previously, you yeah, had it like... This is good, 90%. Yeah. 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 Look at that. You can see how dynamic that body is moving now. Looks like Rory, the way you're shifting in there. <laughs> we'll get there soon. So Eventually. Cool. The length. The length's a little bit shorter. That's great. Well, that's a bit tiring. <laughs> so that's it for today's lesson. Hopefully, you guys are able to learn uh, a few things about swinging the golf club. Well, today, I'll basically learn about how I can lag the club behind, but yeah, it was a very interesting uh, lesson today. Um, it's going to be my final class next week. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the content so far. There will definitely be more uh, contents like this in the near future. But if you prefer a much better or a much different kind of view, please do let me know in the comments. Yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.